Captain, these Sable guys look like they forced all the residents out of a building so they could occupy it themselves. And locked up the ones who objected. Okay, that I can get something done about. But I need victims to come forward. I'll get the people out and have them file reports with the police. Supposedly Fisk made his... Pretty good work, right? Pretty good, yeah. Good enough that maybe you'd let a certain someone celebrate with us? <sighs> Fine, but make it quick. The odds were long, the danger close. But between Spider Cop's reckless intuition and the Chief's determined planning, they got the job done. Aw, that's kind of sweet. A pairing of opposites, like peanut butter and chocolate. For breakfast, for dinner, the two work together. And we're done. Talk to you later, Spider Cop. She's coming around, right? Yeah, definitely. Supposedly, Fisk made his fortune selling these spices. I mean, they're good, but not that good. Alicia's leading me on a chase, but that's what's gonna help me find her. By feeding all the past locations into an algorithm, I can narrow down her likely point of origin. Meow. I was too late to stop her here, but one or two more locations should give me enough data to pinpoint her hideout. Days I'll work out a fabric that warps sound and light waves. A stealth suit would really come in handy.
Misha's close to her goal. And I've still got way too big an area to search. Gotta narrow it down. Every data point helps. Who she robbed, where they live. Got it. I think Lonesome Pinky lives here. Stealing from a country singer. She's getting creative. But I'm getting closer. One more ought to do it. Someone inside that car. They're pinned by debris. Help me! Okay. Still need to rescue the trapped civilians. Thanks. Thanks. That was sweet. They deserved it. I'm gonna tell everyone. 